as heartbreak as this might sound, but not everybody's gonna stay in your life, okay? People Hi guys. So today we're gonna talk about how to avoid fake friends, toxic parents, how to avoid jealousy people in your life, and you know how like to do better by yourself, basically, right? How to deal with fake friends. The, the, like the only answer that I have for you guys is <laughs> it's really not to deal with them. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna be telling you guys how to know when somebody is being fake to you. I sure, I surely deal with a lot of like fake friends, you know, or maybe I'm the fake one. I don't what do you mean by that? I don't know, who knows, whatever the case is. But, so, from my experience, a fake friend is someone who will barely invite you to places because they know that you will get all the attention. A fake friend is someone who, like, whenever you have, like, a big goal, they don't, like, you know, they don't tell you congrats, they don't want to celebrate with you, they always make, they always make excuses like for your birthday celebration and other stuff like for me that's a fake friend okay like, nobody really pays attention to this detail but i do a fake friend it's really a good friend will always tell you whatever dream that you have that is positive they will always support you for me i feel like that is a real friend now a fake friend they'll always tell you oh no that's not good for you um that's not for you um, yeah, you know, like, maybe you should try this. And, like, they will always motivate you to do nothing. Like, now, that's a fake friend. I won't even lie to you. Like, okay, so now we're going to talk about how to deal with toxic parents. I feel like you need to realize that this is your life. I'm not telling you not to listen to your parents, you know, but a lot of, like, African parents are really toxic. It's like, whatever... It's like whatever you want to do in your life, it doesn't matter. It's like it's like their dreams or who they want you to be, it's the only thing that matters. And I feel like, in my opinion, it shouldn't be that way, you know? So the best thing you can do with toxic parents is try to talk to them, you know? Like, again, I know it's very scary to tell your parents how you feel. But it's very important to build a good relationship with your parents. You can try, but if your parents abandon you or they don't, you know, care about you, the best thing you can do, in my opinion, is pray. Whatever you believe in, pray, have hope. Dealing with toxic parents, you need to have hope. Like, you need to have hope that tomorrow everything is going to be okay and tomorrow you will be able to, to be the boss of your... To be like... The boss of your own life because with African parents, bro, they will try to manage your whole entire life. And if you don't stand up for yourself, they will, you know, it's over for your life. But even if you t stand up for yourself, they even see that as being like disrespectful, you know. So okay, now we're gonna talk about how to know if if he is a fuck boy or if she's a player. You know somebody is literally a F boy or a player when they only want to see you at night. If the first time you go out, the person already wants to do something in bed, I feel like that's that's like a major red flag. But also you have to watch out for those who act like they don't want nothing. But later on, they they really just want to smash like it's it's really dangerous out here i'm not gonna lie to you guys so you have to watch out like with their consistency i feel like when someone likes you they're gonna be very consistent you know with everything they do they're gonna be consistent with you know with just them giving you words of affirmation oh i want you you know i love you like when somebody really wants you, you're going to see a difference between somebody who don't want you and somebody who wants you. When someone wants you, they're going to do everything to make you happy. 
when someone don't want you, when someone don't want you they don't care if they didn't text you good morning they don't care if you're mad they just don't care like you like you literally can tell like you can tell the way they talk to you you know like if they being rude to you always watch out for you know like when you ask them oh what are your intentions with me in five years if they cannot answer that question he's a fuck boy and i'm telling you this from experience mm -hmm. so this the foundation that i have is a little bit dark that's the reason why i'm gonna be mixing tonight so to know if people are like to know people don't have good attention towards you you have to really listen to your intuition I'm not gonna lie to you like you have to listen to your intuition you have to have self-love you have to be able to know you know when to leave someone's life I'm not telling you to leave everybody's life but bro if you if you know you have a supportive friend who never if you know you have a friend who don't support you, why stay in their life, you know? To have a good relationship with yourself, try to write down your traumas and, you know, try to explain why they trigger you. Example, if somebody leaving you on scene or somebody not responding to you, if that makes you super angry, that's because you probably have attachment issues um, it probably came, you know, from maybe not having your parents in your life or maybe like your family abandoned you and stuff like that. So it's not that, it's, it's really not that easy, you know, to know what triggers you and work on it. But you need to because your, your kids will need a better you. Everything that everything that I do right now, I really think about okay, like my niece, um, you know, she would need to see that healthy side of me, my kids, and stuff like that. And also, you really need to set a goal for yourself and achieve it. Like, I don't know how many times I have said this on my channel, but working on yourself can make you feel better. Like if you feel like you need to lose weight, go lose some weight. If you feel like, you know, like you want to play an instrument or you want to create content, start doing the things that you want now. And, and also to love yourself, you need to know that you need to really stop comparing yourself with people because... A lot of people tend to compare them themselves with like Instagram model, blah 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 blah. But these models, half of them really be sad on the internet. Like I mean, some of them are happy, but don't try to compare yourself with nobody. Don't try to wish you was anybody else by yourself because you don't know how hard. You know someone life is through social media do you know what I'm trying to say and if God gave you this life is because it's meant for you so you know just really try to have gratitude in life um, yes guys so I'm gonna be giving you guys more tips on how to love yourself I feel like that needs to be a separate video in my opinion but we're gonna talk about how to make new let's talk about how to make new friends <clears throat> so if you feel like you know you need to make new friends your old friends are not working out you need to know where you're going in terms of like I don't know like I mean there's nothing wrong with finding a friend like in the club but most of the times they will want to do club life every time and if you want to really focus and you want to have a soft life i feel like going to like a really nice fancy restaurant that can help you meet great people and connect going you know on vacation or like going to like um like sip and paint you know and i feel like to make a new friend you should not it should not be a goal for you like oh i want to make a new friend no 
friendship should come naturally like you should not force friendship with people it should come naturally if right now you have no friends at the moment it's because God is keeping you you know away from people that you shouldn't meet you know and okay it's okay we're just gonna do this one oh and also also not to mention the okay can we talk about how hard it is to get over a friendship breakup i feel like people they don't really you know talk about people only talk about like like you know like boy and a girl girl and a girl breakup like nobody really talks about like a friendship breakup like and i'm gonna be telling you how to go through it um in my opinion i feel like you need to know you need to know that everybody goes okay most people most people that you have in your life right now most friends in 10 years they won't even be with you and i'm being honest because people grow you know people lose interest on the things that you do and for me when i'm telling you that's okay like it's weird but i got used to the concept of like hey you know just be ready for people to leave at any time because people grow like you're not the same person that you used to be five years ago you don't have the same friends that you used to have five years ago because you are growing and i saw this girl on youtube the other day she was saying that we need to stop feeling like it's a beef whenever someone you know like distance ourselves. I mean this is themselves right and I kind of agree with her because most people they will distance themselves because they just feel like that friend the friendship that you guys have it just not beneficial to that person anymore or some people will distance them set themselves towards you when they feel like you're doing better than them in life you know and for me that's okay i feel like the only person that you should really worry about is yourself make sure you don't lose yourself make sure that you have a good relationship with yourself like me myself uh, i'm trying i'm really trying to have you know gratitude and stuff like that and i feel like for me that's very important you know As heartbreak as this might sound but not everybody's gonna stay in your life okay people are gonna come and leave but the most important thing that should all that you should always remember is as long as you don't lose yourself you're good and have self-love okay have self-love oh this is bright this is bright my future this is the end of the video if you like more you know random topics comment down below what should be my next topic for my next video don't forget to follow me on my social media and see you next time